Hey guys, so while I'm waiting on material to come in to do my quick change tool post riser, I thought I would do a quick video on my first impressions of Autodesk Fusion 360 new cam function for turning. I was really very pleased that they put this update out uh, this week because as you know I'm finishing up my G0602 CNC project and I was just chomping at the bit waiting to get a uh, chance to check out this cam function. So I've got a part drawn up here in Fusion 360. I've already set up some of the cam functions. We have our facing function. Let me zoom out here. We can simulate that. As you can see, pretty simple. Well, actually, let me just run through the whole. Let's just run through the whole little setup so far that I've got worked out. So we face, and then we're going to profile. And then we do a finish profile, a couple passes there and then part it off and of course drill it. Now the drilling is going to be first but I've got that a little bit out of order. I guess I need to correct that. But So I'm drilling. Now drilling is not under the turn functions. Drilling is it's still under the drill function. So that's really no change in that functionality other than the way it's oriented. So facing it's a pretty straightforward um, face function. Just spacing off the material. And of course you can you know, make changes to that. And then we have a, a roughing. Now on profiling, there's a turning profile and a groove profile, uh, a turning groove and, a, excuse me, there's a turning profile where you'll be using a motion going along the Z axis. And then there is a turning using a grooving tool, which is a back and forth in and out on the x-axis and then there's the facing function and so depending on what shape you're trying to create would determine which profile you'll use. I'm using the turning profile uh, and you can see this is what the cam generates the tool path and it shows you this. Now if you select confinement then you don't get let's see what the difference is. You can see the rough profile okay and then Okay, and you can see when we select our rough profile, we're going along the Z axis. Like so. And then our finish pass, of course. Now to get the finish pass, you can simply right click on rough prof profile and then create derived operation turning turning profile and it will put all the information in from your last uh, op from that operation and then you can just change the settings to a finishing pass so that's pretty cool so I can see I can just have two finishing passes uh, 
You notice how it turned red there? That was because it was taking off too much material because I was only running this one operation. Okay, and then our last operation is our parting. And that's pretty straightforward. Just going to part the material off. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward for the for the um, lathe, but I wanted just to kind to just take a minute and kind of just do a quick video on it, um, just kind of show you a couple of points. Okay, for the post processors, uh, the only things they have listed in turning. are uh, some generic ones for a couple different makes of meals well actually three I guess um, so I just selected this generic one here because that's all they have um, and I did email and get a response very quickly as usual um, I usually answer my questions pretty quickly and they just said, you know, pretty much select this one for right now. And I looked at the G code that it puts out, and it's pretty uh, generic, so I didn't see anything wrong with that. Pretty satisfied with uh, Fusion 360's attempt at the cam function. And we'll see how it goes actually cutting some parts. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thumbs up if you like the video. And most importantly, be safe.